Well, thanks for staying with us. Mardi Gras is exactly 30 days away over the next month. There will be a ton of fun parades across the metro area. That includes one, though, this afternoon that you don't want to miss. The crew of Nefertiti will be rolling in New Orleans East starting at 1 p.m. And joining us now to discuss the parade is the captain, Zena Smith. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So I, I just have to ask, I mean, how excited are you for today and the fact that you guys are set to roll? I am elated. It's finally here. We are here. Looking forward to giving this community something very, very special and something long overdue. So what can people expect if they go to today's parade? Well, today, um, our theme this year is too legit to quit. So what we did was we paid um, homage to New Orleans 90s. So everybody knows that New Orleans 90s is totally different from anywhere else in the country 90s era. So they can see a little bit of uh, hip hop, a little bit of um, fresh print style, graffiti, uh, really, really vibrant colored costumes and a few beautiful special throws out there. This is like the most popular one, our little uh, fanny pack. Yeah. The ladies are going for these. And also they can expect to uh, catch our signature um, jewelry piece. Every year we throw a different jewelry piece so they won't know until they get a really nice decorated box and they open it in surprise so that's what they can expect they i mean can you can't go wrong see. with a gold fanny pack i love it it goes with everything it you know? does. it's it's the fashion accessory that we all need these days tell us a little bit about some of the safety measures um that you guys are going to be taking obviously you know the big elephant in the room is of course we have the omicron variant and we are in a pandemic still so what are some of the safety measures that the crew is taking and, and, you know, what are some ways that people can be safe to watch this parade? Well, right now for us, um, our float riders, um, every member has to wear a shield, a face shield. Um, and we are encouraging anyone that actually comes out to the parade to practice all of the safety um, things that the city has in place, all of the safety mechanisms that the city has in place, meaning Please wear your mask, make sure you, uh, you know, just watch your neighbor and just keep yourselves at a safe distance from each other. And if you are in D.C., please do not attend the parade. But, you know, you can watch it from afar, you can watch it from home or have someone FaceTime you in. That's our suggestion. But we also will be throwing masks as one of our uh, throws as well. Oh, that'll be fun. Well, let's talk a little bit about the crew and what you ladies do. I know your motto is that we serve before we roll. So tell us a little bit more about, you know, some of the community things that you guys are doing. Well, over since 2018, when we were established, that has been the main purpose of the crew of Nefertiti. I always tell my uh, members that the parade and the ball is lanyard. That is the big finale for all the hard work that you've done. So we've worked closely with uh, Councilwoman Cindy Wynn in District E and several other small organizations around the community. That's where we are kind of geared towards. We really only deal with the local smaller organizations, nothing against the larger ones, but the smaller ones, they need a little bit more help and attention. So that's kind of what we do. That's kind of who we are. Yeah, you guys have a great website. Unfortunately, we are out of time, but where can people go for more information if they want information about the crew and what you guys do or how to get involved? They can definitely go to www.crewofnefertiti.org. Well, Zena Smith, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know it's early. You have a long day today, but it's going to be an exciting one. So have fun. Thank you.